Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use RabbitMQ on your Ubuntu operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is RabbitMQ, RabbitMQ is an open source message broker software which facilitates communication between two applications or two services. So basically in software development, we use RabbitMQ to communicate between two uh, services. So for example, if you want to send or exchange data between two services, you can use RabbitMQ for that purpose. So RabbitMQ implements the protocol which is called Advanced Message Queuing Protocol or in short, it's called AMQP. So basically we use this protocol to communicate between two services. RabbitMQ provides many concepts and functionalities. So I will recommend you to read about RabbitMQ. But basically in short, if you want to design a system in which your services wants to communicate with each other, you can explore the option of using RabbitMQ. So now let's see how we can install RabbitMQ. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for RabbitMQ. And the first link which will appear here will be from rabbitmq.com. And the first link which will appear here will be from rabbitmq.com. So we are going to click on this link. And here on the RabbitMQ uh, main homepage, you can read more about RabbitMQ. So you can see RabbitMQ is most widely deployed open source message broker, right? And uh, in order to get started with RabbitMQ, just click on get started where you will also see the download button. So under get started, you can see download plus installation. So click on that. And the most fastest way to get up and running with RabbitMQ is by using Docker, right? So if you have Docker, there is this one command which you can use to just start RabbitMQ and use RabbitMQ with your application, whichever you are designing. But if you want to install RabbitMQ as a service on your Ubuntu operating system, the procedure is a little bit below. So you can see installation guides, and then you have the option for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. We want to do it on Ubuntu, so we will choose this link, which says Debian, Ubuntu. And here you have the installation procedure. So when you uh, will scroll down, you can see it says Team Rabbit MQ produces its own Debian packages and distributes them on these two mirrors. And one more thing to note here is Rabbit MQ depends on Erlang. So Rabbit MQ is written in Erlang language, and that's why you need to have Erlang installed on your Ubuntu operating system in order to use it. But the procedure is straightforward. So when you scroll a little bit more down you will see under using RabbitMQ apt repository on CloudSmith, you will see this script here, right? So this is a whole script. Uh, you can execute this script to uh, get up and running with RabbitMQ. And basically what it does, it installs the basic requir requirements like curl, GNU, PG, and then apt transport HTTPS. And then it just gets the signing key for RabbitMQ. And then it uh, installs Erlang and its dependencies. And then it installs uh, RabbitMQ server. So what we are going to do is, I'm going to just uh, copy this script from start to end here. And then I'm going to open my terminal by just pressing Control Alt T. And then on my terminal, I will create a file. So let me cd to the downloads folder so that uh, everything which is downloaded is in the downloads folder. And here I'm going to create this script. So I'm going to just name my script as, so I'm going to just uh, write touch and then rabbitmq.sh or you can name it as rabbitmq setup.sh file which is going to create this rabbitmq.sh file. And then we are going to just uh, paste 
the script which we have copied into this set of files. So you can use any editor of or your choice to open this uh, rabbitmq.sh file. I'm going to use the Visual Studio code to open it, but you can uh, open this rabbitmq.sh file in any uh, editor of your choice. And here I'm going to just paste the script which I have copied and save it, right? So basically I have copied this script which is uh, given on the install Debian uh, page of RabbitMQ from top to the bottom and then pasted it on my script file. Just save this file and then give executable permission to this file. You can do that by just giving chmod command. So just write chmod plus x and then the name of the file which is rabbitmq.sh in my case. Once that's done, we can just execute this file. So just write dot forward slash rabbitmq.sh and then press enter and then give your Ubuntu's password and then press enter, which is going to start the installation of rabbitmq using this script. So at this point, we will just wait for some time until this installation is finished. So now the installation of RabbitMQ is finished. Once the script is done, you can see here the installation is finished. The user is created. I see in my case this error, which is related to Jenkins, which I was installing previously, which has nothing to do with uh, RabbitMQ. But uh, this error is not related to a RabbitMQ, so I can ignore this, right? It's uh, due to my previous installation of Jenkins, but RabbitMQ is installed as you can see here, right? So once RabbitMQ is installed on our uh, Ubuntu operating system, let me clear the terminal. And as I mentioned, RabbitMQ is installed as a service on our uh, Ubuntu operating system. So we can just uh, check the status of RabbitMQ server using systemctl command. So you can write uh, sudo systemctl status and then rabbitmq hyphen server and then press enter and it's going to show you the status of rabbitmq server. So in my case, you can see it's active and running, right? Now, if you see that this server is not active or running, you can enable it. So, so to exit from this systemctl command, you can press Q to exit. And if you see stop or not running here, then you can just write enable and start, right? So first write enable here. And once enable command is finished, you can just... Uh, start the RabbitMQ server using this start command, okay? So in my case, it's already running, so I don't need to do it, but it's if it's not running in your case, just give systemctl enable command, first of all, and then give systemctl start command, right? Like this. Now RabbitMQ is running on your Ubuntu operating system but how to manage your RabbitMQ server if you are an administrator of that RabbitMQ server. Let's see. Once you install RabbitMQ, it comes with the RabbitMQ plugins, which you can enable or disable at any time. And one such plugin is called Management Console, which will allow you to manage your RabbitMQ server, right? Now, in order to check the list of plugins, let me uh, clear the terminal. So to get the list of RabbitMQ plugins, you can give this command, sudo RabbitMQ hyphen plugins list, and then press enter. And it's going to give you the list of all the plugins which are available, right? So as I said, one such plugin is called RabbitMQ management, right? So we are going to enable this RabbitMQ management plugin. So for this, you can give this command. So let me clear the terminal once again. And the command is sudo rabbitmq plugins enable and then the name of your plugin. So in our case, the plugin name is rabbitmq management. So give this name and then press enter, which is going to enable 
this RabbitMQ plugin, right? So you can see the following plugin has been configured, RabbitMQ management, RabbitMQ agent, and RabbitMQ web dispatch. So once you enabled the RabbitMQ uh, plugins, once again, you, when you give RabbitMQ plugin list command, you will see whatever plugins are enabled, they have E here in front of them, right? Whatever plugins which are not enabled, they don't have anything in these square brackets, but whatever plugins are enabled, they have E in front of them. That means they are enabled, right? So once the RabbitMQ server is enabled, you can once again go to your browser. And here, what you can do is you can give the local host command, which is 127.0.0.1, and then give the port of RabbitMQ, which is colon 15672. This is the default port, okay? So just write 157672, which is the default port for RabbitMQ management console. And then here, you will see this kind of uh, web page, right? Where you need to give your username and password. The username and password is really simple. By default, username and password for RabbitMQ management console is guest and guest. So just write uh, guest here and the password is also guest. And then press enter. And you can see we are successfully logged into RabbitMQ management server, right? So let me just uh, resize this so that you can see the whole window here. So on this main overview page, you will get the overview of your RabbitMQ server. So how many uh, messages are queued? You can see the current status is idle. What is the rate of messages which are coming to your RabbitMQ server? It's also currently idle. So everything, the overview of your RabbitMQ uh, server, you will be able to see here. So you will be able to see number of connections, channels, how many exchanges are created. So these are all the basic concepts in RabbitMQ. So when you will learn about uh, AMQP protocol, you will also learn the concept of exchanges and queues, channels and connections, right? Also, you will see more information about your RabbitMQ server here, right? If you want to dig deeper into connections, channel, exchange, queues, or any other uh, properties, you can have a look into these tabs. So for example, right now there is no connection, but once you have connections here, you will see the list of connections and you can delete or enable or disable or change the properties of those connections from here also. You also have channels. We have the exchanges. By default, these seven exchanges are already created. On top of them, you can create more exchanges here, right? Also, you can create queues. In the admin tab, you can see there is only one user, which is an administrator, which is the guest user, which we used to log into our system, right? Here we can add new users and then you can give the username and password here. And then if you want to give this username and password to somebody else, you can give it to them. Also, you can set the tags here. So admin have all the rights, then monitoring, policy maker, management, uh, and other uh, tags are here, right? Also, you have the virtual host. By default, the virtual host uh, here is this forward slash, but you can create other virtual host by clicking on the add a new virtual host option. Also, you have the feature flags. So whatever you want to enable, you can enable uh, those from here also. Policies and then limits. And then you also have the cluster properties, right? So, so there are many things you can uh, do from this RabbitMQ management console. Also, you have the refresh rate. So this is the refresh rate uh, at which your page will be refreshed and you will see the real time or almost real-time data of your queues, right? 
so i think that's it for this video i hope you have understood the basic concept of installing and using the rabbitmq management console i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video